Hi. Today we will tell you about the famous German manual anti-tank grenade launcher Panzerschreck. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Panzerschreck in German means the horror of tanks. Officially, it was called the Reichten Panzerbusch, a reactive anti-tank rifle. RPZ B-54. The Panzerschreck was equipped with a shield, unlike the base version of the Ofenrohr official name RPZ B. 43. The Ofenrohr and Panzerschreck were powerful weapons, but cumbersome to transport and difficult to manufacture. Main characteristics, caliber, 88 mm, weight 9.5 kg, with a shield 11.25 kg, length 1640 mm, direct shot range 100 to 200 m, aiming range 150 m, armor penetration 210 mm, mass of the grenade 3.3 kg, muzzle velocity of the grenade 105 m per second. In 1943, an attempt was made in Germany to solve the problem of anti-tank defense with the Ofenrohr rocket-propelled handheld anti-tank grenade launcher. It fired 88mm shaped action rocket-propelled grenades at a range of up to 150 meters, with an armor-piercing range of 150 to 220 millimeters. The grenade launcher was created based on the design of the captured American bazooka anti-tank grenade launcher and consisted of a smooth walled tube with three guides open at both ends, a pulse generator with electrical wiring and a plug box, a firing mechanism and a sight. On the battlefield, the grenade launcher was served by a team of two people, a gunner and a loader. The pipe at the rear end had a ring that protected the channel from contamination and damage, as well as facilitating the insertion of a grenade into the pipe channel. On the tube there was also a shoulder rest with a shoulder guard, two handles for holding the gun when pointing. Two sling swivels with carrying strap a grenade launcher and a spring latch to keep the mines in a charged grenade. The ignition of the jet charge at the moment of firing was provided by a pulse generator and a trigger mechanism. The grenade launcher was fired using a sight consisting of front and rear sights. For protection from incandescent powder gases formed when fired. The gunner had to wear a gas mask without filter and gloves before firing the Ofenrohr rifle. This circumstance significantly hindered the use of weapons, so in 1944 there was a modification of it, equipped with a protective shield. It is known as Panzerschreck, the official designation of RPZ B-54. Two modifications were created, Arctic, for the northern sectors of the Eastern Front and, Tropical, for North Africa. Ofenrohr and Panzerschreck grenade launchers were armed primarily by anti-tank companies of motor rifle regiments and tank divisions with 36 guns per company. At the end of 1944, each Wehrmacht infantry division had 130 Panzerschreck grenade launchers in active use and 22 spare ones. These grenade launchers were also used by some Volkstrom battalions. The Volkstrom are the Third Reich militia units created in the last months of World War II to repel the onslaught of the anti-Hitler coalition on its territory. In accordance with the defense law, members of the organization were soldiers and, if its detachments were deployed for military operations, became part of the German army. Organizationally, the formation of the Volkstrom was entrusted to the National Socialist German Workers' Party NSDAP, which was militarily subordinate to Himmler rocket-propelled anti-tank grenade launchers were an exceptionally powerful anti-tank weapon. But, as Ike Middeldorf, an officer of the German General Staff on the Eastern Front, pointed out. Then his words. The results of the fight against tanks have declined sharply since January 1945, when the Russians began to use a new method of protection against grenade launchers. It consists in protecting their tanks during the battle with individual arrows located at a distance of 100 to 200 meters from the tank. If the terrain did not allow the grenade launcher to hide, close combat with tanks became impossible. The anti-tank defense is without doubt the saddest chapter in the history of the German infantry. Apparently, it will remain completely unknown why in the two years from the appearance of the T-34 tank in June 1941 to November 1943, there was no acceptable anti-tank means of infantry. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the new video.